I can't imagine anything better than working with your best friends and making money off of it. So yeah, the dream, the dream is in full effect right now. Yeah. That's the funny shit when people are like, oh, I want old New York back. <laughs> like, what, you want people getting shot and stabbed on your block? Like, not cool anywhere, like in, on any block. My name is Philip T. Annan. I'm the founder, director, who knows of Maverick Club. We do some, some marketing work. We do some agency type work. We do a lot of creative design and video production as well. And then I manage Flapper Zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we, the Flapper Zombies, proudly bring to you undisputed champions of the world. Disaster hazard to any rapper that's rapping with underground killers, but globally they feel us because we restoring the feeling. This guru spit voodoo, yes. I am the mass of feeling. I'm feeling up on the 2012 is here, we're still a different kind of fear. It's material, and I ain't talking fashion. Believe in what you want because no one knows to see what happens. You're a bastard. I'm known Phil for probably 2007. Yeah, 2007, maybe. I'm not good at math. How much years is that? Could be a long time. <laughs> <laughs> We know Phil for years. I was laying in a girl's bed in, in like on the other side of the country when when Fader put up Thug Waffle. And then we're like, yo, like this is gonna go somewhere. Then the next day it's like Lana Del Rey loves flat with zombies. And we're literally on the phone laughing to each other, like, yo, like what like what do they think this is? Like it, there was no science, there was no masterminded plan behind you know, it's it's crazy, yeah. So about to take out the bodega, it's the local spot, fourth street action. Number four, that's what you want to get, right here. You don't, you don't need any more business though. You're good today. <laughs> Have a good day, bro. Intergalactic Maverick Club headquarters. This is a laboratory. I mean, we're honestly just like trying at competition with the rest of the internet. The whole blog 101 thing, and that just got lame and tired and corny. And it was like, I don't want to be in front of the computer anymore. The basis of everything is that it was always going to be us. I think you see a lot of these blogs, there's just no voice behind them or no face, so you have amazing sites, but you might not necessarily know who's speaking. Um, so it was like we we're always going to put ourselves out as the face of it. The scope uh, and size of what we we're doing kind of evolved. Um, picked up some bigger corporate clients, started making money off what we we're doing rather than uh, page views. Here we go, let's go. What Phil was trying to do and what I think we all wanted to do was reinvent the way that blogs interact with their, with their readers and, and take content to another level. The ultimate goal for Madbury is probably just to keep working together just as friends and make as much money as we can and never have jobs ever, or nine to fives at least. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I had a synth in the back. <laughs> <laughs>